samples. Smell all nice. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. So I thought I'd add a little bit to the start of my video that I was going to upload. I was a bit hesitant to upload this video after seeing a few comments I read about myself on the internet and I went through those comments on my previous video where I had discovered people talking about me in the purse forum. And I uploaded that video yesterday and I received heaps of comments on that video guys. Thanks so much for everybody who is giving me advice and also, I've, I've received a lot of support, so it does make me feel really thankful that there are people who are sticking up for me and also sticking up for everyone else who might be experiencing some sort of bullying on the internet or anything like that. And I know there are a lot of YouTubers who put themselves out there, and I think it's important to talk about the way that we're talking about each other and how it could be just a reflection on... I don't know, I guess the person who is gossiping because, I mean, everybody is probably guilty of gossiping about someone at some time in their life, but at the end of the day, it's, it's not good. It's not, you, you're not going to receive good karma either. I know Jason, he wrote a comment saying something along the lines of, you know, if they, these people are going to have their karma come back to them. And I kind of do believe that, guys. So, Instead of talking about each other in negative ways, let's just, um, you know, learn from each other and share our silly handbags. I was a little bit nervous to upload this um, Hermes unboxing just because, you know, it, Hermes, it usually does attract a lot of attention. I did at one point sell a pre-loved Kelly 20, uh, 28 in green, and then I made a whole video about how the Kelly wasn't for me and all that, and... Yeah, I just was a bit worried about the backlash I'd get for this video, but at the end of the day, who the hell cares? And I know a lot of you guys just want to see anyway, so here we go, and I uh, hope you enjoy my video, and again, thanks so much guys for following my channel, and if you haven't already, I would really love it if you subscribed, because, you know, I love talking about handbags, guys, so anyways... Uh, Enjoy. I want to show you guys an Hermes bag that I bought, well, probably like a month or two ago. I purchased it pre-loved from the Persephist. This is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing a... This is Marge or Sandro. I got it from Outnet. I think you can still buy this. My necklaces are just mixed. Some I got from Matches Fashion. My t-shirt is grey. I think I got it secondhand at like the thrift store. My pants are like pretty ugly, but they're from Zara. They're just like joggers. My shoes are also uh, Zara. They're just like little slip-on leather shoes that I bought a few years ago. I quite like the Zara leather shoes. I think they're pretty comfortable, but like when you get into the PVC, they're like not comfortable. But um, these have lasted me a few years, so not bad. Chanel Jumbo uh, Vintage. Um, and I'm wearing a little scoopy hair thingy. Wasn't gonna show you guys like anytime soon just because I'm a little bit embarrassed because I already bought like a hair bag and I also bought a Birkin 30 like from the Purse Affair second hand already. So I feel like, you know, what is it? March to MS today to buy a Twilly for it. And then I really wanted to show you guys my Twilly, but then I thought, oh, but it would be so cool if I could show you the Twilly on the bag. So then I just decided I'd show you guys the bag as well. I'm going to tell you guys the Twilly I got because, you know, I'm going to tease you a bit. So I bought my Chanel Jumbo today and it's good that, you know, Chanel, Chanel Jumbo, it can kind of hide your shame. Like if you've done some uh, shopping, you can kind of hide like your purchases and your Jumbo, which I really like. So just a little Twilly. I don't know guys like I don't I'm not really playing the game I'm just buying stuff so I saw this black twilly my friend went to Hermes the other day and she showed me a picture of a black twilly and I just thought it would be perfect for my bag but when I went there they didn't have that twilly anymore but they had it in orange which I actually really like as well it has these keys on it and my sales associate who was helping me she went out the back and she grabbed this twilly for me and I just thought that this would be perfect for the bag so I haven't tried it on the bag yet but I guess we'll try that later guys so samples smell all nice so guys here's the twilly Ooh. 
Do, do. Okay, guys. So this is the Twilly. It's got black, blue, and like rainbow. And it has these funky girls on it. I don't know if you can see. They're like very fashionable. Like they look like Hermes sales associates, to be honest. Like on the... They have orange hair, which is really cool. And they have pom-poms on their shoes, which I think is really random. And there's like a turtle down the bottom with a present. And on this size, it, it says Hermes Paris. So this Twilly, I've seen it on the website in like a purple color. And I've also seen it in yellow, which is so cute. And I've seen it in like orangey red. But I quite like this color because I think it will match my bag. So that's this Twilly. Look, there's a little like cat on her head, guys. Like this Twilly is crazy. Like look, there's a girl with a cat on her head. Like, I don't know, guys, but I feel like I love the silks even more than the bag sometimes. Like, is this... I'm such a nerd, but seriously, like, um, there's this lady I follow on Instagram. I think she's, like, an Hermes collector. Um, I think she's called the Notorious Pink. I don't know much about her, but I do follow her on Instagram. And she showed a sneak peek of, like, this scarf with these really cute illustrations on it, guys. Like, I'll put it somewhere over here, but, oh my gosh, that illustration is so cute. So... I'm really worried. I can imagine myself starting to collect these like silk items, which is, I don't want to start doing that guys, because you know, these are relatively affordable, but they're, they're like, they add up, right? So I just bought this to match my bag guys. So I'm not going to start collecting Twillies now, but I just think that they're, they're really fun. And I personally would really love to get like a big shawl, like an Hermes shawl. I think I would wear that a lot. That being said, you don't have to spend that much to buy a shawl, but it's just something I would like. A little luxury I would like, a shawl. So maybe this year I'll buy a shawl, but no more bags for me. But anyway, guys, that's my little um, twilly. So I guess you guys want to see the bag now that I've gone through the boring part. So the bag is hidden away in this dust bag. Um... It did come with a box, but the box, the box was a bit raggedy. This is an older dust bag, so it's not, this bag is not vintage. It's actually from 2006, I believe. So, um, MS have changed their dust bags a few times. The modern day ones are more like this material. That's the one my Birkin 30 came in, which is from 2017. That's, uh, that little baby over here, my Birkin 30 with my cute little twillies. I know the twillies just make such a difference to the bag, I feel like. I don't know. I was I'm kind of like on and off about twillies, but I just I don't know. I think they're so cute. So I really hope that this twilly matches this bag. This one has a twilly on it, but I don't feel like it matches. So let me show you guys the bag. So that's the current twilly on it, guys. <laughs> It's a Kelly, guys. So this is a Kelly from 2006, I believe. Um, let me just look at the date stamp just to get... Oh, yeah, I think it's a J stamp. So J for Jess. Yes, J stamp. I think it's J in square or something. You can tell by under here. Sometimes I put the date stamp. Okay, it's a J in square is the stamp. And it has gold hardware. It's in black Epsom. And it's the Salier construction. And this, guys, is a size 32. So it's a big mama. Not super big. You can get the Cali 35 as well. And I'm pretty sure there's a bigger one, like a 40. Um, less common. But uh, most common is definitely, like, you see a lot of people with the 25 and the 28. 32 you can get for less on the pre-loved market. It was still really expensive because I got it in the Epsom leather which is pretty popular leather. So it was still pretty expensive, but yeah, um, I just really liked it in Epsom because I thought it'd be a little bit more fuss-free. Um, this does have scratches on it. It has a few scratches like here. I don't know if you can see that, guys. That was not from me. That was from the previous owner. Did some stupid scratches on it, but it's on the back and I'm sure I'll put more scratches on it. Um, Epsom can scratch and I'm not sure if it's that easy to repair. But 
I don't really mind because I think it looks really good anyway in Epsom and I like the Epsom because it really keeps the structure and it looks like a perfect trapezoid shape. It had stickers on it but I peeled off the stickers and then I used some uh, jewellery polishing cloths to polish up the hardware a little bit. Um, it has the lock here. It also has the clochette, but I just kind of took that off because it was in the way. And yeah, when you open it up, it has this little Hermes Paris. It's very nice, guys. Like, so this bag I've been wearing a lot. So I've actually worn this a lot more than my Birkin 30. I think because it's in black and because it's so structured, it just seems to like go with everything in the 32. And it's a little bit like my jumbo, guys. Like so with my jumbo i feel like it's a really good like grab and go bag to just throw things in jumbo guys and i feel like this is like a similar thing like you just grab it and go and throw your things inside and it's just really easy and being an epsom leather it's um it's actually quite light like i think if you get a kelly 32 in like clemence it can feel quite heavy and this is not like super light but it's not as heavy as you'd expect so my Kelly, it's not like super vintage. It still has the little hooks that you can put the, the straps on. If you get something from the 90s, sometimes they don't have the hooks to attach the, the strap, which is, you know, it's not that bad, but um, yeah, the, newer one, the newer ones tend to have the hooks. So yes, it did come with its own strap as well. So that's the strap for it, which is really cute. But I did go ahead and buy a, a strap from Etsy as well, because I really like the look of these Kelly bags with like more of a sporty strap. And I know that at Hermes, sometimes you can order these like um, canvas straps for your Kellys. And I just wanted like a canvas strap so I could wear it as a shoulder bag as well because I really like that look. So I'll show you guys what that looks like as well. But yeah, um, I did get a 7RP organizer, which I don't know if it was very necessary because it's a really structured bag. But I do really like using the, the bag organizer in it and it does look really luxe. I picked it up. I'm not sponsored by 7RP, but I did buy one for my Birkin 30 and... I thought since I was getting this bag, I'd order both inserts at the same time to save on the shipping because the shipping costs a bomb, guys. But sometimes they have coupon codes and stuff. So I actually bought another bag. So I'm going to wait till they have like another coupon code to order another one because they're really expensive. And I was thinking of possibly ordering a Mai Tai collection one for um, one of my other bags, which I haven't shown you yet. But I don't know about um let me know guys if you have a Mai Tai collection insert but yeah anyway I got the 7RP one it's like a blush color and yeah it fits really well it came with the raincoat as well and um the clochette is in there um didn't come with the felt but I don't really care about the felt that much and that's the inside so yeah it's it's a it's gorgeous guys like look at it I mean it's just like the perfect bag basically and I do like bigger bags so I like the 32 I find it quite practical for every day actually it, it had little like feet like it had these like plastic bits on the bottom I feel like when you get it from the store it comes with these plastic things but the plastic things were still on there and um I actually lost one one fell off and then I just took all, off all the plastic things because I look kind of dumb but yeah guys um that's my Kelly 32. Um, maybe I'll do a what fits in my bag later. And uh, yeah, so that that's my, um. actually, I'll show you guys my current Twilly. So I have this like love Twilly on it, which I really like. I bought this second hand, but I just feel like it could do with like black Twilly. Like I just think this would look better. I don't know. I know guys are a bit like OCD, but I just feel like the black would look cuter. Um, but then... Then I don't know what I'm going to do with this Twilly because I don't really have any bags that match this Twilly. So I'm thinking like in the future, if I get a red like Kelly, this would look so cute. Or like a blue would be so, like, I really like the color blue Newt. So I feel like this would go. But then again, guys, that's kind of stupid. So maybe I'll just use this to tie in my hair or like get creative with the neckties or something. Like I know you can get like little Twilly rings to put on your neck and um. I'll get creative with this Twilly. I'll try use it. There's no point in me selling it because I feel like the Twilly resale value is crap and I may as well just keep it in case, um, 
I really like the hearts on this one too, but I don't know guys, I'm going to try this out with this Twilly and we can see what that looks like. Hey guys, so let me show you the new Twilly and what you, let me know what you think if I made the right choice. So I wrapped it on there. I took the lock off because it was kind of in the way and I kind of tied it a different way. Like I tied it like this, but I've seen people loop it through this way. And so the Twilly is going like that, but I made it so it sat in the front. Little turtle with a present on his back, which I think is super cute. And around here, we have the girls just like over here. There's one just here. And we have another orange head lady just like over here. She's just hanging out. And, um, you can see their shoes, like, their shoes are probably, like, my favourite part, their pom-pom shoes, but you can kind of see them, like, around here, but the problem when you tie the twilly, guys, is that, like, you can't see the pictures anymore, and, like, the pictures are my favourite part. Let me know, guys, if you want me to do a comparison video between Kelly 32 and Birkin 30. Pretty different bags, to be honest. Like, I don't know if you can really compare them, because this is the Retourne and it's Togo, so you can see it's softer, it's more malleable. Um, it's also palladium hardware and it's rose poo poo whereas this is Epsom. You can see it does scratch. You can see it has a few scratches on it, but overall the structure holds up really well. Um, this is an older bag as well, and this one has the gold hardware, which I have tried to polish up, but it does get fingerprints on it. Uh, yeah, so they're very different bags. Like, obviously, this one is like an open tote, whereas this one is a little bit more fiddly, and you can put the shoulder strap on it and everything. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty happy. I, I feel like they're both very versatile bags. Wouldn't mind getting, like, a smaller um, Hermes bag in the future, like, you know, Birkin 25, Kelly 25, but uh, they are just uh, out of my budget on the pre-love market. Although I have seen some Kelly... 25s in red for some reason red i feel like has lower resale value so maybe i'll get a kelly 25 in red like in a few years because i feel like i'll be able to find better deals on red uh but you know the trends might change and maybe that won't be the case but uh, yeah um yeah, and if I get a red bag, guys, I feel like it, I could put my Twilly on it that I um, rejected from my, my other bag. This Twilly would probably go on an orange. Maybe I should get an orange Kelly 25. What do you reckon, guys? With that, like, on that? Do you prefer this Twilly, guys, or do you prefer this Twilly? Let me know. I, I think I prefer this Twilly. I think the turtle is just too adorable. Like, look at him right? In terms of Kelly 32, I find it really practical. So I would definitely get like another color in a 32. Um, I love the 28 as well. I used to have a Malachite 28, but I never wore it. I think because I was embarrassed about the, how much it cost. And I still, I, I don't know why guys, but I'm not embarrassed by this bag. I don't know why, maybe because it's black, it's a little bit more understated. And I just find that this size is really easy to use, like to just throw things in. So yeah, um, I would, I don't know, yeah, I guess between 32 and 28, I feel like most people would prefer a Kelly 28, but I really like the 32 as like a daily bag, and on the pre-love market, the 32 is more affordable, so you might be able to find a really cool size 32 uh, Kelly. And actually, there's one that I really like at the Purse Affair at the moment that is in Anemone, and that's a Retourne style in Togo with gold hardware, like, I die for that bag, guys, like, that is so nice, but... Um, I found that I, I personally really love the Cellier, I think because it looks like newer for longer. I feel like like this bag is from 2006, like maybe to the um, untrained eyes, you wouldn't know it was like an older bag. It kind of almost looks new at this point. So I feel like the Cellier, it definitely looks newer for longer, whereas the Retourne definitely slouches more. And depending on what leather you get as well, like the Togo slouches, the Swift definitely slouches and... Um, you know, I've even seen uh, box calf retourne ones, like vintage ones, uh, that look a little bit more slouchy. So, I don't know. I really like the Kelly and the Cellier. I just think it looks so gorgeous. And when I saw this bag, guys, I just knew that I would wear it so much, which is why I got it. And, yeah, admittedly, guys, like, I actually wear it more than the, the Birkin. I think because it's black and it's in this really structured shape, I just think it makes every outfit look good, weirdly. Um, whereas this one, it's so cute, but it's definitely doesn't go with everything, even though it's, like, the best color. I also think, like, the, this one is less, it's a little bit more precious. I don't 
know why. I feel like this looks more like a daily bag, whereas this one is like, I don't know, it's just a unicorn, this one. So this one I feel more comfortable with using more often. It's um, a bit older as well. I'm pretty satisfied with my collection now, guys. Like, I feel like I have some really amazing bags, but I would be curious um, to get like an even older Kelly, like maybe one... Um, that's over 30 years old or even like from the 60s or something because I think that would be really cool to have and it's really crazy how some Hermes bags age like they could literally be from like the 70s and they still look new like I don't even know how but they really transcend time really well so this one yeah it's, it's um it's not super old but I still feel like it's in amazing condition and I really love it guys and I love how with black you can just kind of style it with anything you can change up the twilly the charm you can change up the strap and it's a really versatile daily bag for me definitely probably not like an evening bag I think it's too big for that but um you know maybe I can get a mini Kelly when I'm like 60 so you know that will complete my collection so guys thanks for watching my uh, video today um let me know if you want me to do more videos featuring my new Kelly bag and yes I am a bit of an Hermes noob so um, I'm really exploring it more through the pre-love market than uh, the store but um yeah who knows guys like maybe I'll buy more things from the store in the future because there is a lot of things that I actually like but I don't really want to play the game but I know uh, the pre-loved way uh, if you want to get a Hermes bag there's so much on the pre-love market guys so you can really enjoy um that as well if you want to so yeah uh thanks for watching my uh, video and i'll talk to you soon